We had been in training for only a few months, and it looked like everything was going to be perfect. But then one day, while we were out exploring, some weird creatures that I had never seen before decided to chase after us, and I knew what they wanted. They wanted the dinosaur. I wasn't going to let them get my best friend. So we obviously ran for it, but the creatures looked unlike anything I had ever seen. Seeing a dinosaur was weird enough, but these creatures were a little bit more stranger. They looked kind of like people, but with, but with snake-like bodies and wings like a bat. And they were completely black, no eyes, no mouth, and most likely no, not really any arms or anything like that. Some of them had arms, some of them had legs, and some of them even had horns. They all looked a little different from the last one, but... It was kind of obvious to me that we were going to have to outrun these guys fast, or we weren't going to make it. We were running through an abandoned place, almost like a temple, when we were exploring. And of course there was a wall that was blocking the path, so that was just great. I thought for sure we were going to be doomed. But then that's when my, my pet did something very unusual. He lowered his head and ran even faster, and that's when he broke right through the wall. I didn't know what he was thinking, but it was good that he thought of it because he got us out of there. But then another weird thing happened. That's when Hunter decided to stop and turn around and face the black creatures. And the weird thing that happened... He shot them with lasers, literally. The lasers came right out of his eye, and I was there to watch it. I wasn't sure how he was doing that. He definitely wasn't possessed, I knew that. Because if he was, he probably would have killed me by now. Or when we first met, he also had a chance to kill me, but he must want me alive for a reason. And when we started to head home, after we were able to get rid of those black creatures for now... That's when I was starting to wonder, why was he able to do that? Why was he able to break through the wall? Because that wall was super, super, super thick that not even a herd of rhinoceroses could break through it. But he was able to. And how could he shoot lasers right out of his eyes? And then I started to remember something that I had heard throughout almost all my life. It was sort of like a weird rhyme, almost like a prophecy. I wasn't able to remember all the stuff that was said in the rhyme, but I remembered the last few parts of it. Two beings will come together, and they'll be best friends forever. One will use his power to save his friend. One will help, but her life might end. If they want to win the war they'll have to look for something more. And then that's when I realized the prophecy or the rhyme was probably referring to me as the one who would help but might die. And then if I was in that rhyme then that meant that Hunter was also in the rhyme as well. He was going to be the one who was going to save me. He was going to fight for me. And I would help him, but... Unless me and him can figure out a way to outsmart the black creatures... Then... I fear the worst. So I knew one thing for sure. We had to try to come up with a strategy, because they were smart creatures. But then I started to think, what would happen if I never found this guy? What would happen if he didn't even exist? Would I be here right now? I wasn't totally sure on what to think about that. But I knew that we had to find a way to beat these guys. Because if we couldn't, then we were most likely going to die.